Hello, welcome to the last video in this series, writing the Hebrew letters. We're, we've come to the final letter, Tav, Sav. The Tav has the T sound. It is written much like the uh, Chet. It is one, and then it comes down, and it has a little foot here. Okay, one. And a little foot, and very important, it has a dot. For uh, script, similar, similar to the chet that we saw previously, it comes around, and then it comes down, and then of course it has a foot, and it has a dot. The bump is uh, whatever, it, it, it's not necessary. Um, as long as this is straight and nice, but uh, the bump emphasizes that this is uh, a chet. Okay, the dot is important. Now, for Ashkenazim and for you know people you might come across, people uh, doing you know that have the havara, an Ashkenazi havara. If there, if you find yourself in, in a Ashkenazi shul, you will probably hear the sav. Modern Israelis uh, do not uh, use this pronunciation, but I'm including it for completeness. Uh, other uh, Sephardi groups differentiate, uh, many of them differentiate between the Tuf and the Suf. Uh, they have some, uh, some TH sound, th, so that, that you will see that. But uh, anyway, Suf is the standard in most uh, in the Ashkenazi world. Um, Okay, so it is without the dot. So it's one, two, begin in print, one, two, and it is one around, and then two. One around, and two. Now, of course, this difference in Havara is uh, where we get the difference, uh, where we get Shabbat and Shabbos. Shabbat would be Israeli. Shabbat would be, in some Sephardi groups would say Shabbat. Some Sephardi groups would say something akin to Shabbat. And some uh, and, and Ashkenazi groups would say Shabbos. So this is one of the points in which um, the various communities differ. Um, all communities, uh, except for the Israelis, try to make some sort of differentiation, and I think there is a, a consensus that this really is two different sounds between the two the two letters, just like we have in other letters, like the Shin and Sin or the Beit and Vet. Uh, there's two different sounds, um, but Israeli uh, pronunciation. Um, they had was you know by design is a simplified version of Hebrew pronunciation because they had to accommodate people from all over the diaspora and uh, so it is by design a simplified form of pronunciation so many of these uh, more arcane questions of uh, how we pronounce things according to local pronunciation uh, disappeared in Israel so anyway that is the letter Tav I hope you found these videos beneficial. Um, if you have not already seen or been through my series Introduction to Reading Hebrew, I recommend you do so. Um, it builds on what we have learned here by just the forms of the letters. Uh, in that series you're introduced to the Nukudot, the Hebrew vowels, and you by the end of that series, some 50, 58 videos in that series, you will be able to read passages from the Bible, from the Siddur. You will have the beginnings of a very basic uh, vocabulary. And I have a, yet a third series planned that will look at biblical grammar in a more um, systematic manner. And we, you know, hopefully we can go much further with this. So please uh, give it a look. If I can be of any help whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to me. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate you watching along with me. Call Tuv, Hatzlacha Rabba. Keep learning.